Hi everybody, I have just brought my skid steer and my car, logging cart up into this log job and I want to cut some uh, stuff for my, to finish up, well to do more on my barn. So anyways, I want to explain what I'm doing with that. I also, over the course of time as I'm doing more logging videos, I'm going to attempt to explain how and why I cut certain logs and uh, I am not a forester. I'm surely no expert on this situation, but I will try to explain what I do. A lot of times I have a forester mark, so I just go off what he says. But this is my land up here. We have a pretty good sized woodlot up about two miles from the farm. And so we have over the years done a lot of work up here. So anyways, I'm going to try to explain bit by bit over time what and how I go about my logging. So this is a landing that I've had for several years. And I actually just cut two more scotch pine down just now and they're of poor quality i have scotch pine this is a lot of plantations up here and there's right here the scotch pine and then over here there's a lot of red pine that was planted beyond us off to the right is a pretty good sized pine plantation which is unfortunately rather poor quality pine the white pine is what i would prefer mostly um the red pine is really nice but it doesn't have the value that the white pine does or the or the call for it the, the, like for example the amish sawmills they prefer the the white pine um the red pine is nice because it always grows straight and i can get 16 footers at almost every tree and which is great so anyways and i do need some 16s today what i need today is some 16 footers a few and then a 10 footers for board and batten that i'm going to be putting on the sawmill building so anyways this is what we're doing. I'm going to go up here and cut one more tree and then I'm going to go back and get the horses and come in and skid these out and haul these home. So as we go up through this red pine right here, if you look up, the tops of the trees are still quite close through here. This has been thinned out a fair amount, but it was so thick it had to be thinned out. and. Uh, I'm very pleased with the white pine regeneration that has come in here. Like I said, off to our right is a white pine plantation. So the white pine is being brought over here by squirrels or however, and they are being planted fairly thick in places, which is wonderful because that's really what I want as long as it's nice white pine and this seems to be nice. So um, I have seen very little red pine I'm not sure how or why that works. Maybe a forester or somebody out there that knows better than I could explain that um, in the comments even, because there is no or hardly any regeneration of red pine. It's all white pine. So anyways, as we get up into this area here, it's a lot thinner because I've cut a lot more out of here. So I don't have too much to cut out of here even now, but there's still some spots. I like to do it so that the tree tops the branches up at the very tops of the trees are not touching to allow more light in. So I want it fairly thin so that these red pine will, will grow. And uh, I also come in here when I have a particular order and sometimes I'll take trees down that I need for my orders and they're not necessarily even the right tree that should come down for the, for the, for the forest in such a way to get the most timber. But sometimes when you have a Sometimes when you have an order to do, you, you got to do it. And so I will cut trees that I would rather leave. Maybe some nice trees that are big enough for what I'm doing and leave some of the smaller trees. Um, but it just, it just depends. So anyways, there's a few more up and through here that I want to thin out. It looks quite thin on the bottom. When you go up though, the tops are still touching. So that's what I strive for in this red pine. So we'll cut this one tree and then we'll get the horses up in here. Okay, this is the tree I'm going to cut right now. There's actually two reasons for cutting this. It's quite close to this other tree right here. And the branches are actually touching. But it is also in the line of what I want to cut. A bunch of small little ones over here that I want to get rid of. And by cutting this bigger tree, it gives a place for those to go. So that's what we're going to do.
Okay, I came home, got the horses hitched up, got Lady and Bill, and we're gonna hitch onto the wagon and head up to the woods and get these logs.
Okay, so we have them all loaded up. I think there's four trees on here. Of course, two of them are pretty small. So, um, we have them ready to go. This will go quite a long ways towards that work on the barn. So let's head it home.
Well, that's it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Probably the next video will be me showing you how I saw this up and then start getting the wall made on my sawmill building. I'm so glad I'm going to be getting able to get this done soon because I was sawing in the sawmill the other day and the wind was blowing so bad and just blowing the sawdust all over the place because there was got that big hole in the wall. So I hope to get that done and closed up and I still got to continue on that wall but that's going to be down the road sometimes and I've still got to get my disc and done and my corn planted and that hopefully will be next week I can get going on that so anyways I hope you enjoy the video you guys have a great night and we'll see you next time